Hello everyone, Fountain Pens writing here with a new Fountain Pen review. Today we are going to take a look at the Shall Kill Rockfish Red. Let's start. The pen arrives in this white cardboard box with the logo on the top and the name on the side written with this beautiful rainbow font. Open the box and there is the pen. And this pen is the second release of the Nardwell pens. Uh, with the pen we have a small wrench that you can use to open the piston filling mechanism. The name Shawkill is the name of a river in Pennsylvania which, as you can see in a minute, inspired the acrylic of this pen. A little issue with this wrench is that it is slightly too small, just a touch, so you have to apply some force to insert it and this will cause scratches. Obviously, no cartridges uh, is provided because it is a piston filling pen. Now, let's take a look at the pen. The pen is flat top, like the original models, and it is made of very distinctive acrylic with a lot of satoyancy and shades of red, black, silver and grey. It looks like the underwater vegetation of the river uh, it is inspired by. Very well, Narval. Very well done. On the top of the cap there is a simple rounded metal insert and the clip is integrated into the cap. It works fine and it has a sub but functional design. The cap angles up by two thirds of its length and then angles back down until the small step. There is no metal band like the original model but we have a nice ink window. The barrel starts straight and then tapers down slightly until this metal band divides the barrel from the piston knob made of the same beautiful acrylic. The piston is smooth and it is made of plastic and let the pen have a decent ink capacity. The cap twists off in one and almost half turns and underneath there is the stainless steel nib just a bit smaller than the number 6 nib that seems to be made in house from the company. You can see a new logo of the company on the nib that is different from the original models. The nib is part of a nib unit that can be unscrewed and makes it really easy to clean the pen. This nib is a medium, but as you will see during the writing sample it writes more like a broad and that is because I tuned and smoothed it, the nib was too dry for my test with an, an anomalous feedback. Now it writes perfectly wet and smooth. And this is the plastic feed. The section made of the same acrylic as the rest of the pen has a flare and then it angles up until the cap threads. Now let's take a look at the measurements of the pen and compare it with other fountain pen. The Narval Rockfish Red is a full size fountain pen, although it is only slightly shorter but thicker than the original models. Capped, it is longer than the Lamy Safari and then the Platinum Century. Uncapped, the pen is longer than the Lamy Safari, much longer than the Century, and about 1 mm shorter than the original model. Like the original, the pen is not designed to be posted. Like the original model, this pen is comfortable, well balanced, with the section that fits everyone's hands. The length and the thickness is fine, but unlike the original model, the originality of this acrylic makes it a step up and much more uh, attractive. I have chosen to use the classic English cursive script for this writing sample. You can see that the nib leaves on the paper a broad line even if it is designed to be a medium, certainly due to my adjustments. Like I said before, the feedback was unpleasant and the need to dry, but now it writes ruthlessly well, wet and juicy. As always, for all my writing samples, I use the Waterman Blue to get a consistent comparison between the nibs to see if they are dry or wet. 
after my adjustments the feedback is much more pleasant but not yet perfect and the nib is wet the nib is stainless steel and is rigid so there is no sense in pushing the nib to flex it Overall this naval pen is very well made and like the original models the production is outsourced to China. The piston filling mechanism works fine and makes this pen very appealing for the price. You can find this model around 45-55 dollars or euros. Almost everything in this pen works properly but I said almost because as with the original model the nib was too dry and not perfectly smooth but maybe it was a problem of this particular nib. Nevertheless, a good starting point uh, with much more original and distinctive acrylics than the first models. And that's all. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please consider leaving a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.